So here we have the Mini Cooper S hatchback on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have those twin tailpipes that are unique to the uh, Cooper S, as well as reversing sensors, plenty of boot space, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's where we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer in the middle, and the fuel gauge on the right-hand side. Also in the middle there, we have the trip computer, which includes the total miles for this car. They are 2,333. You can change the information displayed above that for various different bits of fuel economy information, or if you wish to, you can have a digital readout for the speedometer display there, as you can see now. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. And on the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls, including voice activation for the phone just there. We then have this plus and minus paddle that is so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox, should you wish to. Over in the center, we have the touch screen for the car. So this is where, amongst other things, you can pair up your phone. Now, it is touch screen, but you can do everything without having to touch the screen by using this dial and this collection of buttons just here. So for example, you can rotate the button round to the uh, radio media heading just there, and you'll be able to see all the different ways in which you can listen to your music in this car. So DAB radio, FM radio, you can uh, listen to music via Bluetooth audio, so you can stream it wirelessly through your phone, and we have USB input as well. On top of all of that, this car's got satellite navigation. There's a full video that shows how this works, which you can find both on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. That means you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures independently. You fan speed up and down from here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed with this button. When you're happy with all of those settings, you can turn the air conditioning on with this one so it's off or on again, or hit auto and the car will take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures you've asked for. Hit auto again to override that and put it back into a manual setting. For those colder days, we have heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings each, as you can see. Four if you include them being off uh, in total. On the right-hand side down here, we can turn off traction control. This button starts and stops the engine. And this one turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic, which will save it fuel. Hit that button to turn that system off. Under that, we have a 12 volt charging socket and the USB input that I mentioned a moment ago. We then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.